Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. How do you know you have a bad VTEC solenoid? If you own a Honda or Acura and you notice that you don't have that much power after your RPM hits past 3000 to 5000 RPM, most likely your VTEC is not engaging. If your VTEC is not kicking on after the RPM hits 3000 to 5000 RPM, most likely your oil level is low. Topping off the engine with fresh engine oil may actually fix the problem and your VTEC system may work again. The next common problem is caused by a clogged strainer or screen. Usually this is caused by a lack of maintenance by not changing your engine oil and oil filter on time. To unclog the strainer or screen, you can use carburetor cleaner, throttle body cleaner, brake cleaner and clean out the screen and this may actually fix the issue. If your VTEC solenoid is leaking engine oil, most likely it is caused by a bad gasket or seal. If that didn't fix the issue, maybe the VTEC solenoid is bad and it should be replaced or you may have a connection issue or a wire issue. To check for a bad VTEC solenoid, you're going to need a multimeter and you have to check the uh, ohms on the VTEC solenoid and always compare it to manufacturer specification. Based on my experience, since I replaced a lot of these, the resistance is going to be about 10, 15, or 30. And of course, the specification is going to be different for each vehicle. After checking the VTEC system and replacing the VTEC solenoid, your Honda VTEC code should be gone. So you should no longer have P1253, P1257, 58, and 59. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.